Welcome to interview on our program today. We focus on the Chefs in Schools program, an initiative of the St. Lucia Hotel and Tourism Association. Today we have a number of students from a couple of schools. In this instance, we are going to be looking at the activities at the Antipo Secondary School. And with us today, Jenna Estefan and Samantha Greenwich. Both of them form four students. First of all, tell us what really got you interested in, in this sort of competition that led you to be the ones being selected to participate in this competition. Probably first of all, Jenna, you can tell us. Well, first it was in our FN class when our teacher mentioned it to us. And she said that two of us will be going to do the competition. But first, we have to have a competition in the school. Well, I, part, I took part in it so with my partner. And we were tied. And we were the two who had the chance to come to this competition. Okay, so it was a case, um, Samantha, of a competition within the schools, and it would have taken like the first two places. In this in case, it was a tie between the two of you? Yes, it was tied for first place because so we had the two best dishes out among the students in our classes. Okay, and how did you prepare for it? What was the experience like? You know, they said you do food and nutrition, but is this that you had a, an inner liking for you know the culinary arts or at school, at home rather, being raised up, being close to the kitchen? I'm very passionate about food, so I, I just wanted to devote my love and passion into the food that I cook. I'm not going to cook something that I don't like or that I don't like to do. So I decided to take the competition because it will be a good opportunity and I'll be exposed to the culinary arts and the tourism industry. Okay, Jenna, tell us about, you know, it, was, it seemed to be a very keenly contested event at the school, both of you being tied. How was it like in terms of the numbers that participated and how close was the competition apart from the, between the two of you? Well, first I doubted myself and then after I was like, I can do it because I have the ability to do it and I have a passion in cooking. So I was like, I would get that. I would get it. Is it something... Um, Samantha, for that within the school itself, lots of excitement, people want to be part of it, wanted to enter? Yeah, well, we had a lot of pressure on us because we, we didn't have a lot of time to prepare the dish, so we had to be at it and we had to plan our dish and well, like, know what we were about to cook because we didn't have a lot of time. All right, so now that you've gone past that hurdle, the two of you have been selected to represent the school, what has been going on after that? Well, after the school, we were placed in a hotel. We were at St. James Morgan Bay. And it was very, I was shocked because the, it's a lot of pressure to, to cook for a certain amount of time. And you have to cook for people. It, you have to be, um, it requires a lot of cleanliness and just have to be on, on point with what you're doing. Okay, Jenna, your experience in the hotel? Well, my first experience at the hotel, I was shocked as well, because we experienced the chefs preparing dishes for guests, and they were very quick, and they worked under pressure. And we actually experienced how they're working under pressure. So how will that experience help you going into the competition, noticing what the, the, the chefs do? Well. After a while, like, as we train at the hotel, we also work under pressure because our chef, he times us, he gives us one hour to prepare a dish and we have to move fast because an hour goes so fast. So what is the training like, apart from giving you the challenge of what is actually going to be like in the competition? You know, you have the hour to prepare your dish. So apart from that, what is the sort of tips that you get from the chefs out of the kitchen? Well, he encourages us to do our best, and it's it's a it's overall it's just a learning experience for us, because if we have to go into the culinary um, industry, we can take what we learn from this whole experience and use that to further our passion for cooking. So, a regular day in the hotel would be you come in. We come in. Yes. Well, first we have to wash our hands. We have to, we have to wear, we have a dress code, we have to wear long pants, a t-shirt, a white t-shirt, our aprons, our hats, and sometimes wear gloves depending on what we're preparing. 
and we have to we use our knives chopping boards and we take it from there seems like a lot of fun you're enjoying it of course i'm enjoying it <laughs> yeah and, and is it something that you want to pursue even after the competition yes i do okay well we're gonna be g getting into our first break very soon so actually getting that experience is it inspiring you to not only for this competition but looking for the feel and to other students at your school to let them know what the experience is like and to encourage them to even look to make a career yeah. okay well, we're going to take our first break on our program you'll be back on interview la main pop c'est chimé bon santé il est absolument nécessaire pour laver la main si vous voulez tien bon santé quand même si vous pas ni glossitaine ou ça fait ces bagages là écoutez Lavez la main souvent et puis l'eau nette avec savon après condition qui ca simer vermine. Par exemple, on peut laver la main après vous changer d'ailleurs pas, servi pré vite, ou tu peux monde qui blessé et ben malade, après vous tu peux animaux et après ou entamer zordi. Et si ou pas glo, ou ça servi ça yo ka kouyé hand sanitizer et ben alcool pour 30 secondes. Lavez la main souvent, ça c'est une manière pour empêcher maladie. Si vous voulez plus d'informations, priez bureau information santé à numéro 468-6349. You have interview and our focus today is the Chefs in Schools program and initiative being continued by the St. Michel Hotel and Tourism Association. And we have with us in studio Jenna Estefan and Samantha Greenwich, both four, form four students at the Antipole Secondary School. We're looking at the competition now and there are a number of things that you have to do. We spoke about the one hour and there's actual directions, the uh, mystery basket and stuff like that. Tell us about that. Are you ready to take on the competition? Have you been training in, in like how do you actually get your final product out of your mystery basket and the other aspects of the competition? Well, every day we would work on a different protein because we don't know what will be in the mystery basket. So our chef would give us a protein every day to work on. And well, he would make a, we, he would leave us alone and make us do our own dish to see what we have for him. And also, he, if he see we going wrong, he will come and help us. You know, if we do something wrong, he will tell us no, it's not that, it's that, and stuff like that. Samantha, your your own feelings on that? Well, yeah, basically the mystery basket contains a protein, so he would make us practice working with a protein and how we can be creative with it and make our own dish out of it. And uh, how does the, the, the one hour, as we did mention earlier, just an hour, how does the pressure of having to produce within that hour really tell on you? Is that the, the most challenging part of it? Well, yes, it's a lot of work because we have to create a dish in that time frame, including the plating, the, cl the cleanliness, like the overall presentation of the cooking. But the, the, the mindset going into it, 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 there must be a particular mindset that you must have because you're not going to know what's going to be in the basket. It's a mystery. So how do you, you know, prepare yourself mentally to deal with it? Like, like what do you have coming up? Well, we are all, we both thinking positive. I know we put our best foot forward. We know it will, it's going to be a lot of work, but we think we can do it. Okay. Now the competition out of this, when you become winners, whoever is chosen from, from the group of different schools, you go on to a regional competition in Barbados. You are ready for that challenge? Yes, I'm confident that we can make it to Barbados and we will make the best out of the opportunity if we make it to Barbados. As far as ex the sort of experience of your school in, in the past being involved in this competition, in terms of the, the cook-off and, and stuff like that, the SLHD initiative, have you had any experience from previous students or any experience that your school has had in this competition? Yes, we did. There was a time chefs came to us and they taught us how to do different dishes. They came to the school and they taught us how to do different dishes. And from that, we got to know that there'll be a culinary arts competition and we were interested in it. So an opportunity now to speak on the experiences uh, at the hotels, you, we mentioned before it was in the kitchen, but we know that there's various aspects of, of the hotel life. So maybe you can tell us about what sort of experiences you've had in terms of 
interacting with not just chefs but the other in the w other ways that hotels operate well the staff is very friendly they're very welcoming at times we well when we're on our break we would go to the pool and have a little drink or a little uh, something for lunch a meal okay you like yourself my experience has been great we love working with other chefs. Also, the staff are very friendly as well. If we want to know like what they're doing, we would go to them like, what are you doing? How do you make it? And they would tell us. They, all, they want to educate us. They also want to educate us and let us know like what they are doing and how, the chef, how our chef life is and how to work in the kitchen and how to be clean. We must always be clean, clean as we go and make ourselves proud in the competition. Okay. So this experience, how, how does it impact on your other activities in the school, like other subjects? How does it, it relate in terms of, are you more determined to succeed in, in your exam so that when you finish and you have the passion for culinary arts, I'm sure you will need the, the backup of your more regular and general subjects to ensure that when you leave school and you want to go into to that field, you have sufficient subjects to back you up that can give you the foundation you need to, to continue in the culinary arts? Well, we have to manage our time because after sometimes we finish probably like five or six. So when we get home, we still have additional homework to do, maybe house chores. So we have to balance our time with the competition and the other subjects, as well as SBAs and any other projects that any other projects the teachers might give us for the term. Okay, we're going to wrap up in a while, so just give you any closing comments on, on the, the culinary program, uh, your, your school, what it's been like in terms of getting to where you are now, having to represent your school, and the possibility of going on to represent St. Lucia at the regional level. Well, first, we are making ourselves proud, our teacher, our parents, and our chef. And also, we are ready for this competition, and we think we will d win this competition. Okay, Samantha. I'm very confident in the delivery and our signature dish. And I'm positive. I'm going with a positive mindset. And I'll give it my best. And we'll try to win the competition. Thank you very much for, for being part of our program. Uh, Jenna Estefan and also Samantha Greenwich, both four form students from the Antipo Secondary School. We can see you exuding lots of confidence as you go into this SLHD culinary competition. And uh, we know that you certainly told us how the experience has benefited you. This has been an interview. We'll be back for another program.